Man gotta draw the line somewhere in lane. And you know what? I'm about to draw the step back. One more time. I'm drawing the line right there, Elaine. <laughs> well, anyway, he's coming because I told him yes, but I texted you the address. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, Elaine. Wait, no. Mm, I'm going to have to think about this because... It's gonna be hard for me to let some little teenage boy come in here. You know, we already gotta put up with that pest from next door that practically lives here. Are you talking about Jada? Yeah. That girl is not a pest. Yes, she is. She calls me mama. She calls everybody mama. But with all that's going on at her house, she just needs somewhere to get away. Well, she needs to get away somewhere else sometimes. Look, the girl won't be so bad if she would learn how to knock on the door. Look, I never seen her knock on the door yet. I used to turn around and there she is. Then she come walking in. You already see, this is how she walk. <laughs> they come walking in. <laughs> all in our house. Then she go in my snack. I always go in my snack. Every time I see her, she going in my snack. You know the other day, I came in the kitchen. I was hungry. And she would eat my last pack of noodles, Elaine. My last pack of noodles. Then I was sitting there reading my newspaper, minding my own business. She gonna take my newspaper from me and gonna take, gonna say, here, here go the sports section. Or do you want something else? Now you want me to let her and some little horny teenage boy here at the same time? Huh, we gonna mess around and have puppies. We don't even know if they been spared or new. Well, Zach, that's not nice. <laughs> But I talked with them already, and they're sending him over. I text you the address because I need you to go pick him up. Now, I'm going to clean the room and get everything prepared. Thank you, sweetie. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Listen, we're going to talk about this right here because, you know, I got to sit, at least I got to sleep on this tonight. You know, I got to lay in the bed and think about it. Elaine, because you know, since I'm the man, I'm the, I'm the king of this here castle, you know, because I'm, I'm the king right here. Elaine! Elaine! Hey! She said the address was good. Hey, I'll make no sense. Something around here, but 
we would not have a guest <laughs> to do all of those things. <laughs>
I just wanted to help you out. Y'all are so nice to me, and I just, I just wanted to do something. I, I was out here waiting for you to bring me my hug. What was taking you so long? Well, I was cleaning. I'm expecting a house guest. A house guest? Yes, I am. Well, do you need me to help you set the table? No, I may put some plates out later for dinner. Oh, wait, they set up for dinner? You do realize that's only a few hours away, right? Yes. What if it gets dark and they have a long ride home or something? You know, it's really not a good idea to drive around Memphis at night. That's why I'm using the house for the street lights going on. Well, we won't have to worry about that today because our guest is spending the night. As a matter of fact, he's staying all week. A week? He? Are you serious? Yes, ma'am. He's staying all week. Why do you have to stay here? That's probably him. And there's probably some wrinkled up old man. I don't man. know why he's ringing the doorbell. Well, come on in. Come on in. Don't be scared. Hi, Jordan. Look. All right, so I talked to Miss Thomas. She said that this is this is Jordan, the one that we've been talking about all the time, right? Okay, so she says that uh, he can stay here uh, for a week. He's gonna be here. It's only for a week. And if they have any emergencies or anything, uh, for you to give her a call or for him to give her a call. All right. Great. Okay, so Jordan, welcome to the house. Welcome. Welcome. We're so excited. We've been talking about, we just really wanted to hear. We really wanted to hear. Yeah. Jay, Jay, Thank you for taking me in. Of course. Smile, sweetie. This is Jada, our next door neighbor. Jada is going to show you around our home. She's going to show you your room. Make yourself at home. Anything you need, she can take care of. Will you do that for me, sweetie? Thank you. Mm -hmm. I show you around, all right. I show you right out that front door. You think you slick, but I can see straight through. You talking to me? What are you talking about? You don't even know me. talk to anybody anyways. All those kids, they make me sick. They're either talking about each other or trying to fight each other every day. You got a point there. I really don't have that many friends there either. I mostly stay to myself, except when I'm with Sid. Look, I don't want your parents, all right? I am only going to be here for a week, and then they're going to shift me off in the country with some old people that I've never met before. No, I wish I could find the murderer that killed my parents. Or at least turn back that clock. I wish that it was me shot instead of them. Why do you talk like that? Oh, that's right. Your parents were killed in a home invasion last year. I saw it on the news. I felt so sorry for you. Don't feel sorry for me. Look, I don't need your pity. Don't be like that. I didn't pity you. I was just concerned, that's all. So, what was it like? What happened? You know, if it's not too hard for you to talk about. Nah, it's never too hard for me to talk about. Because I want it fresh in my mind. So when I get a chance, I can put a bullet right between the eyes of that murderer. You know, he 
really didn't have a reason to kill my parents. <clears throat> what happened, Julie? See, we had just got back home from shopping. And my mom went to, she went to unlock the door. But when she turned that key, the door was already unlocked. So she turned to my dad and started fussing at him because, you know, he left the door unlocked. But he couldn't hear him. He was too busy getting things out of the trunk of the van. So my mom went in there, and my dad walked in after her. And he dropped the box right there on the ground. I stooped down and picked the box up. And, and, and just as I stood up, I heard a loud scream and a loud bang sound. And that's when I looked up and I saw my mom fall right to the ground. And then that gunman, he turned the gun on my dad who had absolutely nothing in his hands and he shot him too. And I just stood there and I watched that coward walk right out the back door with absolutely nothing in his hands. The cops came, they questioned me, they questioned the neighbors and then I... You would. What did you say? I, I, I froze them. I, I, I froze them. I've always been a good son to my parents. I never gave them any problems. We went to church. We prayed. We read our Bibles. We went to church every Sunday. But that one time, Jada, that one time when we needed that God that we're supposed to believe in, we're the head. When I get my hands on that murderer, I am going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to take my hands and choke the life out of him. I'm going to kill him. I am going to kill him. Jordan, please, please calm down. I know you're upset right now. And I can't even begin to imagine or what you're going through. I'm only a teenager, but I know that two wrongs don't make a right. And killing someone won't be your parents back, Jordan. It's okay. You don't even really know me. I do know you. You are Jordan Hardaway. You were one of the good ones in school. And your parents were good ones too. They were the type of parents that actually came to things at school. Although we never talked, I've been watching you since the fifth grade. And whether you know it or not, you've been a bright spot in an otherwise dark school, Jordan.
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Natural, natural cause. That's it, child. Mm -hmm. Natural cause. That's it. Okay, if that's the cause, if that's what you say, mm -hmm. I guess it's like you say, you know, if it's your time to go, it's your time to go. But how old was he when he died? Girl, he was the ripe old wholesome age of 32. <laughs> oh, 32, and that's too young to die. something to him. You know, I, look, hold this, let me see. He was at that morgue. I got up, I said, oh, Elroy. I said, Elroy. Mm. I said, why did you have to go and leave me so soon? Oh, y'all wouldn't know just what he said. What did that what say, say? Mom? So, you know how it is sometimes people come out of the woodwork when they think it's some money involved. Right. Compensation, he gets that money from the city. <laughs> so when he turned 18, too young. Too young. And to do it, he wanted to cook too young. Too young. <laughs> too young. <laughs> I thought making right. I had to put it in a 401k and a, you know, just have it there. Oh uh, no. Uh, but anyway, what's the victim compensation? Well, my mom, a friend of mine explained to me that it's like when a victim dies, the money, something about the money, um, when a person is seriously injured or killed as a result of crime. Yeah, that's it, Daisy. Okay. It's, it's not a whole lot of money, but it's enough to bury your loved one. Right. Mm -hmm. Hey! That, I can get that for Errol. I can go ahead and get that for your daddy, girl. Me, mom. No, because dad died of natural causes. Remember? <laughs> Jada. Jada. In the world. Girl. Oh, Lord. What? To have only two houses over here. It's kind of loud, right? Ooh, we we would notice when we come through that little house and the seeing the den over there. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we Lord, and then you over here in the Holy Ghost field house. Lord have mercy. All you got to do is say, Holy Spirit, activate me. Mm -hmm. You're gonna feel the spirit in there. And then you got to share the patio with that. Yeah, we need to pray. We need some oil. We need some oil. Mm -hmm. It's terrible. All that loud noise. Jada. Jada! Jada! What are you doing, little girl? I have been calling you for over five minutes. Now listen, when I call you, you need to 
to answer as you are making your way to the sound of my voice. Do you hear me, little girl? I mean, I hear you now. I didn't hear you at first. I was in the bathroom listening to my music. A little girl, do not take that tone with me. Do I look stupid to you? I know you heard me. I know I did. Do you hear me talking to you? I said, do I look stupid to you? No, no. I, I just thought to myself when I came in the room. I said, wow. Mom actually looks smart today. I said, <laughs> Hello, girl. Do not play with me. Because I will get up off this couch and I will snatch all the braids out of your head. Don't, don't play with me. I was calling your name so long to where I forget what I was calling you for. Oh yeah, uh-uh, I, I, I remember that. I was cleaning up the living room this morning. Uh, don't play with me, girl. I was cleaning up the living room this morning and uh, I found some of your nasty pennies laying here on the coffee table. Now what were you doing in here to where your nasty pennies would be on the end table? Mm. Mm. <laughs> and they smell like sex too. I did not find out you've been having sex, little girl. Mm -mm. I, I have it. I have it. Well, so what were they doing in here? And you didn't do a good job of hiding them either. What were they doing in here, Jada? I don't know. They don't even look like mine. Say what? Yeah, they don't even look like mine. 